Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. I got a request from our subscribers Chantanu to show how to bulk upload resources data to Primavera P6 using Excel. So let us see this in this tutorial in detail. Most of us maintain all the scheduling data in Excel as part of supporting planning. So you have to keep it ready in the planning stage itself with all the required resources data including their naming nomenclatures as like this. For example, like this on resources part for a sample schedule. I have activity ID, name and resource ID and their respect budgeted units maintained in Excel like this. Now go to the Primevera and open our schedule. Let's first create some sample 3 resources to assign this schedule. Go to Enterprise, click on Resources and in this window, click this plus button and add resource with ID as T1 and name as Test1. Now click Directly Finish. Similarly, add resources as T2 test to finish and t3 test 3 okay so finally we have three resources test 1 test 2 and test 3 okay the ids have to match exactly in the excel sheet now go to activities window select activity s1000 and go to resources tab in the details section in the bottom Click on Add Resource and select Newly Created 3 Resources T1, T2, T3 for this particular activity. Okay, This is for the safer side to check the IDs in the exported Excel. I will show you how to do this. Export this resource assignment from Primevera to Excel now. Go to File, click on Export, select Spreadsheet option, click on Next. Here, select resource assignments in this export type dialog box and click next. Select the export, click next. In the select template dialog box, click on add and add these following columns here. Apart from this, I am adding budgeted units and will remove start and finish columns and click OK and click next. Give the Excel name as sample one i'm saving this on the desktop now and click next click finish you will get a message saying export was successful close this go to desktop open the excel file sample one now edit this resource assignment excel sheet with our original planning sheet I copy and paste relevant columns data into this exported file like this. First, I will filter those activities with resources that is unselect the blanks and then select activity IDs and paste it in the A column and then copy the resource IDs and paste it in column C and mark all the resource as labor in column F and copy paste the budget units into column G. Okay. Once you're done, as a final step, you need to convert the budget units into text format in Excel rather than number format before we import into Primevera P6. You can add an apostrophe mark before the number to convert as text or else you can use the text to columns feature like this. Select the entire column G, go to data tab, click on text to columns button, select delimited, click on next, select comma as the delimiter and text qualifier as apostrophe mark, click next. Here select the column data format as text and click on finish okay this is done 
one point is that you can mention as D here in this column H with the header as delete this row. By doing this, you can delete these specific rows from Primavera by mentioning as D. Now finally, once you're done with this Excel changes, save the Excel file and close it. Now go back to the Primavera P6 schedule and let us import the Excel file. Click on import select spreadsheet option click next browse our excel file from desktop with the excel name as sample one click next in the import to field select the xcr file okay click next now click finish and you will get the message as import was successful now click on close you will now see the total budgeted labor units as 11851 exactly same as our planning sheet. You can cross check it. Got it friends? Similarly, you can bulk import all the cost data as well into this Primavera. This process is very easy and will definitely save a lot of your time. So friends, this is how we can bulk upload resource data into Primavera P6 using Excel. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.